Hey guys, John Sandoval here. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about taking your acoustic guitar playing to the next level. What does that mean? Well, we're going to grab simple chords and add textures, add colors that will enhance and make your simple G's and C's sound nice and fresh. We're not going to get too crazy. We're going to stay with the chords that we all love and enjoy and play every day at a campfire, hanging out with friends. If you're like me, whenever you pick up the acoustic guitar, the first chord I go to, I don't know why, but it's always G. Something nice and fresh that you can add to your G chord is starting with that open D string, the fourth string, and then doing a hammer on with your first finger. So right now you're playing your G chord. Your first finger is playing that B note, which is on the A string. But what you're gonna do, you're gonna play that open D and then hammer on to the note A, second fret, same string, same D string. So it's gonna sound something like this. And then from there, play your open G string, which you're already doing when you're playing the G chord. So it's gonna sound something like this. The nice thing about this, you can repeat the same exact thing on your C add 9, which is really just your G chord. Move these two fingers down one string and repeat the same exact pattern. If you notice, it's a little easier on the C add 9 because your first finger is already there. It's just a matter of lifting it up. doing the hammer on, playing the open D, putting the finger back in there, and the open G. So it's the same exact lick on both chords, but it'll sound different because you're playing them on different chords. On the C, Let's try that with a groove. Let's also try adding a passing chord. So if you're in G, instead of going straight to C, what I like to do is play a G over B, which is really pretty much your G chord. Just get rid of finger two. And with finger one, you're going to be kind of like muting that low E string, so you get this sound. So you get this passing chord going to the C. You can do it in any situation. So it'll be something like this. Now you're also noticing that I'm doing some hammer-ons. I do that to kind of accent the passing note.
I try to add hammer-ons as much as possible. There's no specific time when you can add it. This is something you just gotta feel out. The more you play it, the more you're gonna get used to adding the hammer-ons and the passing chords. Another cool little texture you can add is from that same note in G on your second string, what I like to do is I like to slide up to the C and then do a pull off so I have an open A so I get this sound. And you resolve back to G. Guess what? If you can do it in G, you can do it in C. Back to G. C. Back to G. All these little tiny things are not crazy, insane, or even complex, but they add a lot to your playing. Let's do that with a groove. So let's review what we have so far. Which you can also do on the C. We also have the passing chord from G, G over B, to the C. So it sounds something like this. We also have the slide that resolves back to G. And you can also do in C. We also have the hammer-ons that you can really do anywhere. Something we didn't really talk about, what kind of pick you use, if you want to finger pick, all these little things do matter. If I finger pick everything we just talked about, you're going to have a completely different sound. So it's up to you. Try the pick, try your fingers. I mean, the beautiful thing about all this, you can do whatever you want with it. Something we didn't really get to talk about too much, but I can probably do another video on this. Adding a capo. Let's say you like to play in the key of B. I'm gonna keep a four, guess what? You can apply everything we just talked about in that key. Feel free to move the capo, experiment, be creative, make it yours. Well guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I love spending time with you and playing some guitar. Please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you can get notifications. Also leave a comment, I would love to hear from you if you have some ideas and thoughts on what video I can cover next. 
or what topic I can do next, I would love to hear from you. Again, my name is John Sandoval. See you guys soon.